take you on a little tour. Oh, I got more flowers coming in on there. I didn't think they would flower again. Here's what's happening in my garden. Give you a full picture of the how big my elephant ears are. They are humongous. And I've had to cut a bunch of them down already because they were hanging out and getting shredded by the kitties. There's some more huge ones. And this is supposed to be in the daisy family. It's a weed. I don't know if it's the American burn weed or if it's, I don't know, but I'm going to let it flower just to see because I am curious because I have another one coming up right here too. And I thought these were where I put daisies, but they don't really look like daisies. So we'll see. My poppies are doing really good though. These are going to be the white polar bear zinnias and my willow I'm gonna have to move that I've got some forget-me-nots coming in under there my roses my thyme let me show you my humongo all right the petals done fell off of that one but there's one two three four five six seven eight heads on this or not no I meant nine nine heads so far on this one sunflower and it's really pretty bees love it that's that garden got some lemongrass coming up these are about spent here. They've done flowered out and I think the heat kind of got to them a little bit. This is my tomato plants that I put in for my sucker. And I see a sucker that I did not get in the middle there, but I'm just going to let it go. This is a um, one of the little tomato combs made of rings like you get but this come from the Dollar Tree and it's collapsible and it does not hold up very good so it wasn't really even worth the dollar got these out here they didn't really bloom much but this is going pretty good all right wasp I'm gonna stay over there I'm not bothering Got my parsley in the dill. And the lemon bee balm is coming in really good. The rest of this stuff, not so much. The coleus is coming in really good too. Oh, a little salamander. Missed it. There it goes. Huh. Let's see, he's got a big old thing stuck to his leg. Oh, his pockets are full. Hey there, buddy. That's cute. There's that. Okay, so for this part, I got some new additions. This was some tomatoes, suckers that I had rooting on my back porch. They got big. Here are some of the basil clippings that I rooted. These were just the tip tops of the I harvested the leaves on the bottom of all of it and just kept the tips to root and got more plants from that. So I stuck them in there with the tomatoes. I got the kale coming up. We don't really eat a lot of kale. I'll use it in juices some to juice. But I just come over here and grab like what we don't eat. And if I see stuff that's got like the where the bugs have ate it up. I'll pick those off and give them to the chickens. They love that stuff. But there's my kale. And then here's my bed with the beets and the lettuce and the onions. They seem to be doing okay. I moved my carrots and my 
I put the Cherokee purple tomatoes in with the sage because the sage is taking its time coming up because I was late planting it too and it's just taking its time. So I'm going to see if the sage comes up in there with that, hopefully. And my carrots and chocolate mint. That was a lot of the runners that I just stuck in a pot and they're just, you can't kill a mint. I'm telling you, them things just keep going. This is my, um, more of my Thai lavender frog egg eggplants. And I uh, spread out some of these peppers. I left a few in the pot there, but I've got some here and there. And also over there in with my half runner beans. And I didn't research it. I don't know if it's okay. I don't care. I'm just trying it. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. What I got left over here is more of the frog egg eggplants and peppers. And I had garlic planted here. And I was curious because the one little piece that was sprouting, all of them kind of died out. And the one little piece that was left, I pulled up and there was nothing attached. So the garlic did not do good in here for some reason. But okay, so that's freeing up space for something else. We'll figure it out. <laughs> here is the other sucker tomato plant stuck in this pot on the trailer. It's got a bunch of little maters coming in too. I've had more maters this week than I've ever had in my life. And my grapefruit and my orange not coming up. So I about give up on them. Those I just stuck in there today just to see how they're going to do. Moving on over here, my apple tree back there. God, the June bugs have ate it up. It's pitiful. I'm not proud of it. It's not good. These are some half runner beans that I planted just like a couple weeks ago. It hasn't been long. But these little things are just, I put up a little silly string system. I call it silly string because it looks silly, but they had to have something to grab to hold them up for the first notch till they could start climbing, so that's what they got. Also stuck a few peppers in there too. Hopefully it don't mess with them too much. And my eggplant in here is coming up, so hopefully that's not affecting too much. And over here something is eating. I'm assuming this is broccoli. I don't know. We're going to see how that goes. And my cantaloupe. I'm considering pulling this fence off because our chicken, our favorite chicken that runs around out here loose, free ranging, she just recently died yesterday. And there's nothing else in the yard. We watch the chickens when they come out anyway. I don't think they would jump in there, but then again, I might just have to leave the fence on it just to make sure the cats ain't pooping or something in it. Hey, chickens. All my little chickens now look like big chickens. You can't tell they're babies anymore. And I haven't done anything with that yet, so don't judge me. <laughs> okay, here is my okra coming up in this spot. And my cabbage down there. My watermelon is creeping everywhere. Turn this around so you can see this way. These are my black-eyed peas going way up there. They're doing good. These are my half runner beans. They're doing pretty good. I've already got a couple of harvest batches from them. 
barn's looking good. I'm going to take you to the other side. This is my loofah. I'm about to put it somewhere. i got to get something going for it. These are my other gourds. They're starting to curve. So my pumpkins, they're starting to head off. Some watermelon, I gotta figure out where to put them. Just a random tomato that was taken forever. I believe that's a Cherokee purple. I'm not sure. Never sure. <laughs> and here's all my corn. And I got this little thing here. I forgot what kind of flower it is, but it's some kind of vine and flower. I'll let you know when it blooms, because I forgot what it was. It's probably a morning glory or something. And my beans are running really well. Got my little bean runner concoction. Got more of the bush beans coming in. I've come out here and pulled a bunch. <clears throat> it's like I missed one. But that one just, it wasn't big when I come out here before. The rain just made it get huge. Okay, and my watermelon. I was planning on training my watermelon to go along the inside of the fence and the lower part of the fence, but it's trying to creep up the fence. So this is my current situation with the watermelons. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with the cucumbers, which I'm trying to keep them up, going up. And I'm trying to keep them going down. <laughs> and I have some little marigolds coming up, but you can't really see it. Cucumbers, that's my okra, my beets down there, and some onions, I believe. I can't remember if that's onions or garlic. I think it's onions. Yeah, there's that. And moving on over here, I've had a few changes in this. Well, this, this is my purple hyacinth. They still have not bloomed at all yet. And matter of fact, they were doing really good as long as I kept them going straight up. But when I made them take a right turn to go across here, they kind of got stung it a little bit. So, we'll see how they do. Now, in here, I've had to pull up a bunch, well, not a bunch, but three or four of my zucchini plants. And that one's probably going to have to come up pretty soon, too. Now, I've got spots coming back they were gone for a minute but they come back with a vengeance since it rained it seems like they wasn't that wasn't even spotted yesterday and I've got a lot of cucumbers coming in here and little babies got cucumbers coming up all over the place Got a ton of tomatoes. Since I staked everything up and tied it up better, the roots are getting more sunlight and airflow, so that's helping. Something's trying to get a hold of my cucumbers, so we'll see how much we can get produced. I need to make some more bug spray for them. And with my tomatoes, how I've been doing my tomatoes, typically I would leave the tomatoes on till they were at least halfway red well the bugs are eating them up so as soon as i start seeing the first sign of red coming on i will pull them off and put them up on my porch to finish getting red that way the bugs don't get them they finish their process, and everybody's happy. Well, at least I am. Got lots of cucumbers. See the babies. I love seeing babies. <laughs> There's one little cucumber there. 
Now this looks like a jumbled mess, but I'm trying to train it to go down the stick, up and then back down. But yeah, there's that garden. And over here, I pulled up all the argula that I had here. And this cucumber's still going. That looks like more of that weed just in the front. I'm not sure what that even is. My strawberries, I've let them go. With me having the bum knee a few weeks ago, that kind of threw everything off where I couldn't get in here on my knees and cut these runners and trim it back some where it could breathe. And so this just turned into a big jungled mess. And I'll probably have to wait until spring, I mean, till fall to get rid of it. Now I've got a bunch of sunflowers coming in right there. And this, I didn't know that this would vine up as tall as it is, but it's doing pretty good too. It looks like a jumbled mess there, but I just shoved a bunch of growth through the fence to try to get it going up the fence. Because it just goes everywhere. Hey, there's another cucumber. So there's that garden, and it's a mess, as well as the rest. My little sunflower patch is not doing the greatest either, but on this side it looks pretty good. <laughs> like I said, the gym bugs have really ate everything up ridiculously. And my poor grapevine that I still haven't done anything with. I gotta, but yeah. The June bugs are killing my grapes. It's terrible. I gotta get a system going up here and I gotta find something to spray on these. Um, I don't think it's just the June bugs eating those. I think it's the, the Japanese beetles that's actually getting the grapes. But that's my update and how things are going and not going. Oh my goodness. This just happened since yesterday, too. See all those yellow spots? That's not good. Those were perfect yesterday. Matter of fact, I have a video. Those spots were not on there, so I don't know what I did. Something's not going good, though. 